to evolve or to bring in new things you might have to face some negative parts about it whenever you do something revolutionary or whenever you bring in some change it is not necessary that whole process will be all about success and same goes for medical history when we go back into medical history today whatever the treatment we are having whatever future changes we are having we definitely faced a lot of blunders back then so today i'll be sharing three of the biggest medical blunders which will really blow your mind so hi everyone i'm dr kanika and welcome back to doctor do of anti emetic or anti nauseatic especially in pregnant females so it was given to pregnant females for the same reason but later on it was proven that it is a teratogenic drug a category x drug which means you cannot completely cannot in no circumstances give thalidomide to a pregnant female because that will lead to a lot of defects to the fetus so teratogenicity means defects to the fetus which can be like limb defects which is called as pucomelia so thousands of children during that time faced this issue of having limb defects like pucomelia that is like seal like limbs were present in that case this will actually blow your mind this is tuskegee study syphilis study which took place in the united states from 1932 to 1972 in this case patients were selected and they were not given any treatment just to understand the natural course of the disease that is syphilis the patients were told that they will get free medical advice and the treatment and the medicines but they were not told about their diagnosis and the fatality of the disease so now in this even though the treatment drug that is penicillin was already there invented still the patients did not receive penicillin just to understand the natural course of the disease moreover the informed consent of the patients were not taken then there was a lot of racial differences found that is only the african american people were chosen in this study This study was clearly a violation of the ethical principles of the medical community. So lobotomy was a procedure done in cases of schizophrenia or mental disorders wherein a specific part of the brain was cut and removed just to find out some specific and better results which were needed in that case. But then think as it looks like it wasn't as simple as that because the brain is a very complex structure which after removing that part doesn't just gives you the desirable result but also in that takes away a lot of other things like first cognitive ability of the patient so now due to that part being removed the person started having problems with memory started having problems with thinking even the cognitive ability to understand things around was diminished to a certain extent then secondly there was emotional flattening the person was just having a blank and a flat face all the time there was no emotions coming out of the person third along with that there was a lot of physical symptoms as in headache dizziness or uh, malaise a lot of that faintness were taking place all the time coming to the other part of it was that along with all of these things even the efficacy of the person declined the efficacy to perform activities the entire day everything was declined so due to all of these side effects which were quite significant lobotomy procedure was completely declined and was prohibited and now as an obsolete procedure no one does it So yeah this is it for today's video i really hope that this unique and a new type of video really fascinated you all so if it does then do not forget to subscribe to our channel let's make this the biggest medical community ever because why should non medicals have all the fun bye